I used to go to Long Beach State and we had a traffic circle there and there's a place called Circle Porsche and they had a big display window and they would have that car parked there. I never had the nerves to go in there, but I would sit there and like park my Scirocco. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, back then I didn't have a Scirocco. I actually, in 94, I think I had an Integra. Is that something that obviously cars are something that's a passion for you? But yeah. for people that have a passion for cars, it's like almost changing underwear. Like I know people that change cars all the time. Yeah. Is is that something? I, you know, I kind of went through that stage, you mm -hmm. know, uh, when I was younger. I went through that stage because of the fact that um, once you, I was like a, I started tuning cars back in like 87, 86. Mm -hmm. I started working with cars with my brother back in the 70s. Because I was younger, my brother's 11 years older than me, so he and he went to UCLA. So on the weekends, he would come and he'd do oil change. And we, he, because he had a '76 Firebird that my dad used to drive, mm. and we would work, work on that together. Like he go, give me this wrench and whatever. And then he bought me a model, and I would make the model. He goes, "This is a carburetor. This is the exhaust system. This is the." So I learned. I always mm. had that interest, and um, yeah, when I went to college and I started tuning cars. Once you're done with one, it's like you want to go on to the next. Yeah. Yeah. And how I actually did that was people go, dude, you had a lot of money. I go, no. The, you know, my mom, the first car that they bought me was a 1982-83 Volkswagen Scirocco. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know what that car is, but there was a Scirocco and it was a… Uh, oh, it was I, cool. I, 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 <laughs> you know what it is? Dan? It's kind of a sport. It's a, a bit of a sporty… Sporty GTI. Yeah, it's like a yeah, sporty Golf. Yeah. It's more slim. Yeah. Uh, you know, but it was a piece of shit, you know, it <laughs> broke down a lot and I, I had to find ways to fix it on my own. Like, you know, like, like anyways, is and it, is that it was this, like, no, that's the thing. That's the Volkswagen thing. Oh, that's called the thing. Yeah. It's called the thing. What, what, yeah. what is your, what is your car? Like your I, not it's such a cliche question, your favorite car, but if you could pick like two cars that you just, for the rest of your life. Not even just one. Just one? Yeah. Just one. A 1994. Uh, Porsche 911 3.6 Turbo that was on that movie Bad Boys. 1994. Porsche. The first Bad Boys. Wow. That was a great year for hip hop too. Uh, 1994. A 90, 94. 94. I, I, I would have thought you'd right be more of a classic like a, a 60s, 70s. 60s, 70s is great but the thing about it is the parts are very vast and it's hard for you to buy those parts. Yeah. But the 911 which that's actually still on the 930 platform. Mm -hmm. You can still par buy parts for that. And it's an uh, air-cooled motor mm -hmm. in which, you know, nowadays you, you don't have. So it's something It's something from my past. It's like when I saw that movie, I knew I couldn't afford it because mm -hmm. it was $100,000 back then. Mm -hmm. And then I used to go to Long Beach State and we had a traffic circle there. And there's a place called Circle Porsche. And they had a big display window and they would have that car parked there. I never had the nerves to go in there, but I would sit there and like, Park my Scirocco. <laughs> no, actually, I, back then I didn't have a Scirocco. I to, actually, in 94, I think I had an Integra. Integra. Um, and I would sit there and i just look at it. And it was a it was a green. It was an Irish green color, like a British racing green. Yeah. And I'm like, mm -hmm. who the f would get a Porsche that's that color, man? I would yeah. get silver or black or whatever, right? <laughs> and then, and then uh, I saw that. I'm like, wow, man. I go, one day. I want to get that because it came with a speed line, three piece wheels. And back then, 18 inch wheels were huge. Mm -hmm. They're big wheels. Right now, they have 20s and all this stuff. But back yeah. then, and they had the three piece wheels with all the rivets. I'm like, I want that because I saw that movie and it's like, you know, it, that, that yeah. scene, that, 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 you know, and you're just going, oh my God, I want that car so bad. So, still till this day, you know, I've driven a lot of cars. I've had Ferraris, I've had Porsches, whatnot. Yeah. But that car, I never had a chance to. Experience. Uh, experience. Yeah. Mm. And uh, right now, if you want to get that car in mint condition with like 12,000 miles, is $300,000. So that's still <sighs> kind of money. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed the clip. If you did, listen to the full episode on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. And make sure to subscribe to this channel, Dive Studios, and put those notifications on. Hit that bell. Boop, boop, boop.